Hello and welcome to another video from conversionskitchen.com and today we are going to be talking about trust badges. So obviously this comes down to trust of your customer in your website. Um, obviously customers want to know that you have you have uh, customers have been through the process before maybe you have some endorsements from other companies and one way to do this to get their trust to get your tr their, the customers trust on your side is to use trust badges and these come in various types so for let's talk about a few of them here so we're just going to go quickly through the options here this is from the article on conversionskitchen.com how to add trust badges to your product pages um, so we're just going to go through in this video, quickly go through the information in the article and talk about the different options you have for, um, for trust badges. So first of all, uh, let's look at safe checkout badges. So here we go. So so you get these from, uh, from with a company that provides you with an SL, SSL certificate, which is a secure socket layer. And these appear in as a little lock sign in the top a core and just to the left of on the address bar to the left of your address and this is very hugely important to have an SSL certificate for your shop um, but also you can see some examples of uh, safe checkout badges from different uh, companies here PayPal Stripe McAfee secure we'll come back to a couple of those so uh, these badges are very important so let's move on to accepted payment badges so payment badges Obviously, this is where you have your different payment types and when you get to the checkout, customers want to see the, the logos. They want to see they want to see the companies that they know. If you go to a checkout and there's no and there's one company that you can pay through that you don't know who it is and you've never heard of them before, it's, a, it's quite likely that you might not trust that company, that shop so much. So when you arrive to the checkout and you see Visa, MasterCard, Amex, UnionPay, etc., then you're going to be much more comfortable. So definitely make sure that they are uh, appear on your checkout page and you have as many of them as possible, as many payment options as possible. That's always, always a good thing. Uh, third party endorsement. So you can also go to a third party and ask them to give you a review. So, but this means an application and this may take some time, but it could be worth it if, depending on the type of shop because that will add, if Google reviews your store and says it's okay, then most people will trust that um, that review, right? So uh, you can look at BBB accredited, accredited businesses, or you can go, go to Google uh, customer reviews as well. Uh, we can also add a free shipping and returns badge. That also gives some trust to the customer because they, if you if you tell them that, if you, if you make sure they know that if something goes wrong, that they can get their, uh, they can get their their money back or their shipping back. You can ship, they can ship the uh, the product back to you, and you will cover that. So, and you can you can you, if you go to the article on conversionskitchen.com, how to add trust badges to product pages, and um, scroll down to this section, free shipping and returns badge. You can go and try our free tool for creating trust badges. Okay, so next ones, we to, let's quickly look at money back guarantee trust badge. This is similar to free shipping and returns. So this is just a promise to your customer that if anything goes wrong, that they can have their money back or you will you will fund the shipping and that will all be taken care of for them. Okay, so let's move on to adding trust badges to your product pages on Shopify. So the, the first way to do it is to manually, manually add, uh, add a badge to Shop, your Shopify product page and you do this by actually getting the image from online so you can you can find these images um, these trust badges and you can or you can make one if you have some design experience and you do this by going into your products page um, and looking in your description and you will see uh, an image a little insert image there and you can upload that now this has a few steps to it so what I what I would encourage you to do is go to uh, so we can do that. No, that's that's okay. Manually adding your, yeah. So you do that through the. Uh, that's actually this one is quite easy. So you can insert it here. You can insert the image here into your description box for your product page along with the text, and it will appear. And then all you have to do afterwards is kind of tweak it around to get the position right of where you want it to appear on your product page. Okay. So next one we want to look at is adding trust 
badges under the add to cart button using your Shopify theme. Now this is probably the most complicated way to do things. Um, so you need to log into your store, go to themes, and then you'll see and in themes, you do it through the themes page. So you go to customize and you need to duplicate your theme and then you can edit that theme. And that, that consists of you using some code um, a little bit of code if I'm not mistaken yes at the bottom here so what you need what you want to do what I would encourage you to do here is to go to conversionskitchen.com to that article how to add trust badges to product pages and scroll down if you want to do that through your Shopify theme and you can get the code and the, each we have a step-by-step -step guide to do that here so let's move on to the next part so add to add trust badges under the add to cart button via app so obviously a much easier way to do this kind of thing is through apps so third-party apps so um, we can do that through here we got some apps to do that so trust hero you can go to trust hero uh, look at them also trust uh, trust trust by varanode.ing trust by varanode okay so that's another app and McAfee secure is obviously a big popular one for that as well so if you don't want to go through the hassle of coding, you're putting, uh, copying, pasting the code. Um, we make it simple on through the article, the step-by-step -step guide. But you can also look at these apps um, to add your trust um, badges to your site. Uh, so, and you then the last place you want to add the trust badge is on the checkout page. Um, so, what you need to do here is you need to go to your settings in Shopify. Uh, and you can do that through customizing your checkout page itself. Um, and again, we won't go through this because we're kind of trying to keep this video short. So what I would encourage you again to do is go to the article here and it will give you a step-by-step -step guide as to what to do. Uh, there's a few steps to this one as well. Um, so that's just a quick look at the options. So if you want to get the details on how to do these things, go to conversionskitchen.com and the article is called how to add trust badges to product pages in Shopify. Let's do it. So that's it for today. Uh, just a quick look at the options there and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, as I say, conversionskitchen.com for the article, for the full, art full article. And if you want to check us out on YouTube, we are Conversions Chef. So, and we'll put all of the relevant links down below in the description of this video. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.